I don't know where to start. I feel very rusty. <laughs> it has been a while, but we're back and we had a wonderful time. Like Mark and I have had kind of time off throughout the year, like here and there. We've had like a week here, a week there, but we've never been away abroad, just the two of us. Um, actually for three years and seven months because I counted it. So it had been a while since um, the two of us went away on holiday and it was so, oh my God, it was so, so nice and just so needed and so relaxing. We laid in, we ate amazing food. Like it was absolutely heavenly and um, we went back to what is probably one of my favorite places on earth i have to say um Mallorca, like spelled Mallorca. um and we stayed in a hotel that we had previously stayed in um finca serrana and it's just it's so relaxing the place is just good chill relaxing vibes it's adults only everyone has just sat around the pool reading their book they even came around at one point with like a tray of three glasses of rosé and you could just have a little glass of rosé mark and i looked at each other we were like this is not our lives <laughs> this doesn't feel real we're not you know standing on lego and like being woken up at five o'clock in the morning like it was just it was so so nice so thank you so much for all of your like kind well wishes people were like have a lovely holiday and you know what we really really did we were only away for three nights but it was the perfect amount of time to kind of rest and rejuvenate and have a bit of time just the two of us I feel like Anna and Mark again you know like felt like a bit of a time travel into our past life as um, people who traveled often <laughs> And it was heavenly um i think there should be a blog post going live tomorrow i've kind of done like a bit of an updated mallorca guide but i will link my original guide down below for you because honestly we actually revisited a lot of the same places and did a lot of the same things because they were things that we loved and things that we knew that we liked so um yeah i will link that down below for you um but we also just spent the rest of the time that week oh it was my birthday it was my birthday so we spent the rest of the time that week just chilling and like doing things around the house and kind of there's that post-holiday need to clear everything out uh, vibe that I obviously had. So I sorted out my autumn wardrobe. I got stuck into a new project. We'll talk about that in a bit. Um, there's been a lot of house stuff going on. So I thought today we'd do a bit of a renovation update. And I'm not gonna lie, today we need some positive vibes <laughs> around the whole renovation because we've reached the stage of the renovation where we're just fixing things that our previous builder did wrong, um, which is really frustrating. Obviously a stage that we like wish that we didn't have to do, um, but we currently have leaking pipes to our understairs or our underfloor heating in the kitchen. Um, and that's leaking through the ceiling of the kitchen. That started on Saturday. Someone came around on Saturday to look at it. Someone came around on Monday to fix it. And then we realized it was still leaking and there was actually a new leak. There was another leak. Um, so someone, a different person, is around today to hopefully just put an end to that. That'd be really, really nice. Um, Mark just messaged me to say a roofing guy is around. Um, we need to fix the roof. The roof has um, water that just sits on the top of it, which obviously is just not what you want. So that's another thing that we're needing to kind of sort out. And what's the other thing? Oh, we had a guy around last week. He was amazing. He was like a concrete magician man and he fixed the thresholds because the thresholds were really bad from like the inside to the outside um the concrete was just the finish of it wasn't too great i think he said it wasn't poured correctly i don't know he gave us a little debrief as to what has gone wrong but he basically uh took out those thresholds and he almost like hand paints them so it all matches up so that is like one thing that's ticked off the list but if the leak could be ticked off the list if the roof could be ticked off the list um we're also redecorating it because the finish on the retech guys it's been it's been a whole thing um the finish on the uh paint is like really really bad so um we can show you the swatches on the wall of the new paint that we're thinking of because that is something we're probably going to like do ourselves just to keep the cost down um i think that's kind of everything um for the kitchen but i will show you around we've got some new pillows i think since we last did an update um we did have the curtains come and actually start to be installed but they were in the wrong fabric and the wrong color um so they've been pushed back 
and we're waiting on our carpenter to come back and actually like he's doing a lot of the finishing touches in there so that'll be done hopefully in the next two three weeks my new date for it being finished is christmas i'm like this could just be done by christmas that would be really really awesome i don't know am i being realistic who who knows at this point it has taken months and months and months <laughs> longer than planned but we have started to redecorate the middle room like the green room that was originally my office when we moved in then it was Ralph's playroom then it was the emergency kitchen if you remember that like our temporary kitchen um and it's needed to be redecorated because there were french doors that went out onto the patio and onto the deck that we used to have and that was like filled in and plastered over so that's needed to be redecorated so mark started on that this week and hopefully in the next like week or two we'll be able to move all of Ralph's toys back in there which is very exciting i'm very much looking forward to having our front room back so that's really fun very grateful that we have a spot that we can like put this all in but the big news is the understairs bathroom i'm excited to show you that so that's kind of like the main thing to show in this video um, i think at the end of the week the concrete we've got like a concrete kind of outdoor kitchen and um, just like a big slab of concrete that we could like put our pizza oven on and like serve food on that kind of thing that's going out into the garden i think on friday and hopefully over the next few weeks the planting will happen in the garden as well so we move you know we're getting there <laughs> but one great thing about going away is it just i feel like obviously i'm just so in the churn of like doing what i'm doing it actually gave me a chance to like pause and like think about what I want to do, if there's anything I want to change, what I'd like to do more of, what I'd like to do less of. And weirdly, tomorrow is my 13 year YouTube anniversary. I have uploaded basically weekly videos on this channel for 13 years. Is that not wild? I can't believe that it's been 13 years. Like it feels like yesterday, but it also feels like a complete, well, it's a completely different me. I was 20. 20 or 21? No, I think I was 21. 21 when I first started uploading videos on YouTube and now I'm 34. <laughs> like, so much has changed and YouTube has been part of like changing my life basically. Like, I can't believe like this is my life. Like, it makes me a bit emotional if I think about it too much. Um, but yeah, I love uploading videos on YouTube. I love uploading blog posts, I love being on Instagram, I love doing TikToks, like, I love doing all of these things, but it, I'd love to do new things or like try, like mix things up a bit or like try different formats or, I don't know, it just made me think I want to kind of do more and, and like maybe a bit more higher quality and I think in order to do that I have to claw back from other places, like ultimately I do this, Mark helps me edit, but there's just the two of us doing this. And if I want a bit of space in my schedule to experiment or try new projects or try new things, then like something has to go. This is not me quitting YouTube, by the way, like absolutely not. Like I love this platform. I think it's just to say that maybe videos on here might not necessarily be weekly. Maybe they will. Maybe I've got a lot to say that month. Maybe I'm like really in the flow, but maybe it's more of an every other week thing. Maybe, I don't know. It feels weird even just to say that. I feel like I'm like, letting you down in a way because you're just you know this is part of what I do like these weekly YouTube videos but I don't know I was just like something kind of has to give in the schedule and I think ultimately I work three days a week and basically a day is taken up by making a YouTube video which I love to do but I'm like I think I need some more mascara I think just to have a little bit more time to play around with I might experiment and just see how it goes so maybe there won't be a video next week but there will be a video the weekend after that and I'm just gonna see how that goes and I hope that's okay <laughs> hope that's okay with you I'm gonna give um Katie Jane Hughes's new hyper shine light pigment in light gold I think she's been putting a bit of the hyper shine serum like on top and then putting the brush in so let's give that a go so yeah that's the plan um one of the new things I'm really really excited for is Substack. I don't know if anyone has like been on that platform, but it really takes me back to like old school Blogspot. Like if you followed my blog back in the day on like Blogspot or Blog Loving, it, it's kind of that mixed with a newsletter. It's like both of them, if both of them had a baby, 
that's what it would be. Um, and it's a really nice platform to scroll on without it feeling very doom scrolling. It actually feels quite like educational. Like there are some brilliant writers on there doing great things. And whilst I was away, I deleted Instagram and TikTok from my phone. But I did keep Substack on there. And I just, I got stuck in. I was like, I am desperate to upload onto this platform. It just seems like a really nice community. So if you want to join me on there, I will link that down below for you. There are free subscriber options. There are paid subscriber options. I'll like link the about page with all of the information. But I really wanted a place to share my kind of daily outfit diary and that felt like a really good place to do that so that's what I'm doing on there along with like weekly shopping edits um so that's like one of the new projects but yeah I just thought like there's other things as well that I want to give a go and hopefully switching up my schedule a little bit might allow me a bit more time oh to do those things so um yeah just thought I would do a little update before we got in to the real video and this is yeah it's like 15 minutes so this is definitely gonna need to be cut down I'm gonna cut myself off there um but just to say like thank you so much for like celebrating my 13 year YouTube anniversary like who would have thought it thank you so much to all of you who comment like subscribe I know so many of you have been here since like the OG days and it really means so much we've like literally grown up together so i really appreciate the support i'm gonna finish blowing my face up i mean that is a nice that is a nice glow and then we'll do a little renovation update downstairs you know what it has taken a long time but i do love this kitchen <laughs> i do really love standing here and i mean it never is this clean and tidy i just have to say there is normally piles of stuff like dotted around um but this is really nice we should keep it this tidy this like this feels really good <laughs> i don't think that much has changed since you last were here however no this has changed we have a pillow so this is actually two pillows that go across here and we had it split down the middle so that we could go like that and still get into all of the storage underneath all the storage underneath is now full because i think the last time I did an update, we'd maybe like moved everything out from under the stairs, but we hadn't like put it in its place. So everything is now in its place, which is really good. Um, I told them about the, con the magic concrete guy, but he was really great. And you can now see that the thresholds, basically all of this was replaced. Um, do you have a photo? I do. Yes. Okay, put like, put a before here. This is the before. And then this is the after. So so much better I think this one wasn't the worst one, right? was the other one the worst one yeah. well, we can do a lot before and after there um, but he did such a good job with these here we have another pillow situation this is really nice i love this we're going to get some like more square pillows to go behind and create more of like a mini little sofa area here and um, we get like a light to go here and then rebecca wakefield who actually helped us design this place like she's an interior designer she's amazing highly recommend doing one of her expert slots um she suggested she actually came down and saw the space and it was so nice to meet her in person and really great to get her kind of expert opinion on like the finishing touches and she recommended that we keep this space free and this is almost like coffee table like we're going to dress this up with some like books and trays maybe another light or maybe we'll have a light here and we'll have like a lamp here that could be really nice um and she also suggested maybe getting a sort of small circular table that can sit here so this can be a space that we can like do work at or just like sit with friends like make it more of a seating area so it's really really good to get her opinion on that um these were locally made by a lady in brighton i will link her instagram down below for you but she was so great and they also have big like non-slip fabric on the bottom so they don't go anywhere and they're fully removable as well because have we had to already wash them of course we have a toddler uh, so they're fully removable you can just stick them in the wash so love those i do think this area is going to look really nice once the curtains are in as well that's going to really finish it off nicely um but concrete guy also did this section here it was probably this bit that was the worst bit right okay so this is the replaced concrete and then mark will put in like a little before picture here as well but just so much tidier really really good mark has just been like anna you need to caveat this because this sounds crazy that we're repainting it number one we're probably going to repaint it ourselves just to like absorb that cost and i do think it's probably like it's partly down to two things i think number one the actual finish on it is like not good like if we zoom into this corner down here 
for example. I mean, does it even show on here? Probably not. <laughs> the cutting in at the top isn't great. Like, come see this bit. I feel like this is a good bit. This is, this is not cute. Does this show? Oh, it's so hard to show on the camera. <laughs> this bit is really not cute. And ultimately, like, Mark and I are very, like, details oriented people. And we just want to be 100% happy with it. So we're like, I think... We're just going to do it ourselves. Also, it's not just the overall finish, though. It's almost like the finish of the paint. The bow work paint is this. It's like a lime wash, isn't it? And it lends itself to this really like, oh, like free and easy, like cloudy. And it's really, really hard to cut in at the top. It's really, really hard to cut in around doors. And Mark actually, um, in the utility, put another layer on just to see if it needed another layer. And we still were like, I don't know. I think we're too perfectionist for that really relaxed look. And we've got enough texture in here in terms of like the wood and the polished concrete floor that we feel like just a flat texture on the paint actually probably feels a bit more us. So it's one of those things, it's like, you're gonna make mistakes when you renovate and this maybe was partly our mistake and then also partly, we're not 100% happy with the finish. Um, it's so funny if you actually, like, I look at it now and I'm like, but if you put your camera down there, it's gonna look really fine, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, let's talk through the colors. Can't say. I mean, that's kind of good because we, we actually really like the color of the bow work. We've got three little green paints here, one here, one here, one nice here. Thing. We think we're gonna go with this one here. It's got that kind of like gray, yellow, clay kind of color. The others look a little bit too pale. Um, ultimately, I think it'd be really handy to have a paint that we can like touch up as well. Like you're gonna get like smudges and marks and stuff on the wall and it'd just be nice to have like, you know those pens, people like fill up a little paintbrushy type pen and then they just go <laughs> I think that's what we need. You can't really do that with bow work, so. We've made some mistakes here. That is one of our mistakes. We will absorb the cost and I'm really looking forward to getting that done. Um, oh, and the utility. We've got this. I love this. <laughs> if, you want, if you want a chic washing basket, this is it. Um, and also we've got a little bench here. Um, we've got a few extra bits to bring in here. We've got like a big mat. We've got some um, big racks that are gonna come off of the wall that we can like hang washing on. Um, but until it's redecorated in here, we're not going to do that. So hopefully that will happen in the next couple of weeks. This is definitely the easier one to redecorate. This will probably take like a day or two. That's a little bit more of a project. Um, but yeah, we love the utility. This is such a good space for like mud, dirt. It's a good way of like keeping it all in here. Also, Caleb will be coming back soon and like put, he's going to, I realized the other day, I was like, he's going to put a door. We're going to have a door. We're going to have a door to the kitchen and obviously a door to the utility as well. So um, yeah, that's the kitchen. I feel like you haven't been in here for a while and um, this was our temporary kitchen situation, but it did used to have um, like a set of kind of French doors that went out here onto the decking. Um, so that was all bricked up, that was all plastered. And so Mark has done a very good job of redecorating this wall. He's obviously gonna paint this piece of skirting board here. This is like a temporary kind of, just a temporary fix. We would love to redecorate this room properly. And we actually worked with Rebecca Wakefield to like come up with a plan for this room to make it a really cool playroom for Ralph. Um, but that's something that's like in the future <laughs> when we've got the budget for that. But for now, we're just gonna like sort this out, paint it, clean it up, and get all of the stuff back in here, which is gonna be really exciting to like have the downstairs like as it should be. Um, but yeah, I think you've done a really good job with this. And actually a really good match for the paint. Have you like zoomed up? Yeah, it doesn't, it looks better in real life. Oh, it's not it bad though. It does look quite good though. Yeah, this is, this is the old one. And this is the new one. Like, I don't know, I think that's a pretty good match. It's reasonable, it's like one of those things. I think me and Mark are really bad at doing things temporarily. Like we always wanna do like the big thing, right? We wanna do it like properly. But sometimes you just have to do things temporarily, like budget wise, time wise. It's like this works for us right now. So um, yeah, this is kind of Mark's current project and we're getting very close. But finally, the new thing, the understairs bathroom. So come and have a look at it through this door here. So this is another thing that when Caleb comes back, he's gonna finish off. Um, he very kindly came and did us like an emergency tour on the toilet because we had Ralph's birthday party. We had like 25 people in the house and we were like, if you could just put a door on our downstairs toilet, that would be great. So this is kind of the emergency door, but it's not 
finished with all the proper like fixings and fittings and it's not it doesn't go all the way but this little bit of storage is ready to go this is going to have drawers in it yeah it's going to have like shoe kind of storage the like drawers that you get and it's all going to have this fluted wood um finish for the doors and this is also the fluted wood that's going to be above the dining table so that like blank wall behind the dining table is going to have this on it i think it's going to look so freaking good um obviously it'll go here as well but it kind of closes like that and it's just like our little secret door when people are in here you genuinely like ralph went in here the other day and we had no idea <laughs> It's a really good hiding place. And this is the understairs bathroom. We're so, so, so happy with it. The plumber was amazing. He was really, really good. I think it took him like just under three weeks, kind of like two and a half weeks, just over two weeks. Super, super chuffed. I feel like the tiles really are the star of the show here. Like, shall I say what it looks like though? Shall I ruin it for everybody else? I have to say, my DMs are sometimes like a really, really hilarious place. And some of the things that you guys come up with tickle me and this one actually made me cry and I think maybe three of you said it you were like Anna it looks like prosciutto like it's ham like it looks like prosciutto and I came down and like I was like oh my god it actually does look like prosciutto and then I told Mark and then we both cried like we cried with laughter it was one of those things that really really tickled us so thank you for making us laugh so this is our downstairs prosciutto <laughs> bathroom we love it I mean we love it why not but also I just <laughs> I think it's really fun that it feels, it still feels like us, but it's like the more fun version of us. I think if you have a downstairs bathroom, that is your chance to like go a bit wild, do something really fun. We obviously love minimal. We love like earthy tones, <laughs> we love beige. But here we were like, right, let's go for it. And these tiles are from Mandarin Stone, that's it. They've got some really, really gorgeous um, ones on there. I'll, I'll link what ones they are down below for you, but the tiles are a bit of a splurge. The lighting was a bit of a splurge. The lights are Soho um, home. They came out with a bathroom range, like literally the day that we needed to do um, lighting for this room. So that was kind of good timing. Um, this is William Wood. William Wood mirror. The little basin is Victorian plumbing. The taps are Luso. Like, oh my gosh, Luso stuff, guys. Luso is so... I would do like every bathroom with Mandarin stone tiles and Luso like fittings. The toilet is also Luso. The toilet flush is Luso. The, oh, it's a really nice... Come and have a look at the course and architecture. It's course and ar architectural, isn't it? Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, and I can't remember where the radiator was from. Mark said design radiators there if you can't hear him. Um, and I finally found a spot for these ridiculously long um, firm living towels. I don't know if you remember where I did all <laughs> with these huge long firm living towels and was like, oh, these are a bit longer than I thought, but they go perfectly there. We've obviously got the ESOP. This will be replaced with Carex when it's finished, but it is nice for now. And also very important in a guest bathroom. They're a must. Your guests will thank you. <laughs> um, but yeah, oh, we need, we've got a Luso. You're going to put this on the wall. Maybe we'll get like a little bin. I think it's always nice to have a little bin in here. Um, and then that's that actually done. That is like a room done. Um, and it's so, we like haven't had a downstairs bathroom since we moved in. So we kind of keep forgetting that we have it. And it's just such a novelty to be like, oh. <laughs> we were in the garden the other day and to not like just be like, oh, I'm just quickly pop in, pop to the bathroom. It's perfect. And then when you're done, you just close. Top secret. This is another new thing, a stool. We only have one for now because there was a problem. Did they go to send the other one and it was faulty? Yeah. <laughs> it's the story of our life that we're like kind of part way there, but not 100% there, but we will have two here. Um, it's Ralph's favorite place in the world to sit. Like if you have a toddler and you end up getting like a kitchen stool, like the high chair is, is gone, it's done. He loves this. Um, but it's a really nice place to like sit. We're really enjoying like sitting up here and yeah. We're getting there, guys. Thank you so much for following us on this very long, but also lovely journey. We're super happy with it. Um, and maybe in the next one, the middle room will be finished. Caleb would have been, we'll have curtains. The planting might have gone in outside and then it might just be like real true, like finishing touches. Maybe we would have redecorated. Who bloody knows? Um, but it's all very exciting. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you Possibly not next weekend, but the weekend after the brand new video. Bye.